But it was a joke. Yeah, I don't. I just fundamentally not, don't believe that it was a joke. I believe that it was camouflaged yep. as a joke, and that's what it kind of comes yeah, across. Right. And I well, that's that exactly what you would believe if you were inclined to persecute comedians. No, I'm not inclined to persecute someone. Well, you're inclined to persecute him. I don't think he's a comedian, and I don't think um, I, 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 I would have to go and look at the circumstances of that case. But I, I think he didn't like his girlfriend's pug and thought he would teach it to do something reprehensible as a joke. Right, but I see you getting involved, say, tweeting Douglas Murray's article about Tommy Robinson, and I think you mm -hmm. see that as a free speech issue, and that's not how I see Tommy Robinson's case at all. I see that as contempt of court, someone who endangered a grooming mm -hmm. trial. Mm -hmm. How do you see that case? I see it as very fortunate that Tommy Robinson didn't die in prison. I think I would say that about a, a lot of people in prison. I think it's very hard to be in prison if you are a sex offender, for example. I think our Br British prisons are less inhumane than American prisons, but they are still brutal places to be. 